These days, with all that's involved in filmmaking, actors, sets, costumes, special effects, it's easy to overlook the little guy of cinema, our trusty unsung hero, the film prop. A good prop can help a film's believability, while a bad one can pull you out of the experience. Cut, we're on. That cardboard headstone tipped over. The, this graveyard is obviously phony. Nobody will ever notice that. Props come in many shapes and sizes. They can be large or small or really small. They can be weapons, knives, food, drinks, personal possessions, weapons, drugs, sporting equipment, musical instruments, weapons. But props can be so much more than just objects in a scene. Great props can transcend the boundaries of the films they're in and become legendary icons of cinema and pop culture. They can show the progress of mankind or reveal the hidden beauty of the world. A prop can be used as an opener for a film or set you up for a sequel. A prop can draw you into a scene or help you cut to another. A good prop can represent a character to the point where you can't think about that object without thinking about that character. It can sum up their internal struggles or sum up their way of life. So. Or give you a glimpse into their personality. Which one is it? It's the one that says bad motherfucker. A prop can show a character's unique gift. A2, A2, A2. Or a character's unique no madness. Wire hangers ever! And sometimes a prop can actually be a character in a film. And on rare occasions, a single prop has the power to represent someone's entire life. This is the power of props. They can provide subtle subtext as well as function. You can use a prop to tell without telling. When used like this, props become more than just objects. They become symbols, a symbol that represents a friendship or a marriage, science or God. As we all know, when something falls from the sky, it can only have come from the gods. A prop can be a symbol of reality or illusion of the future or the past. And the same prop can symbolise childhood in one film, but death in another. But death can also be symbolised like this. And here we see death associated with something unexpected. Oranges. This isn't the kind of thing that's in the foregrounding of filmmaking, but it's there if you're looking for it. Much like this scene. It's not until repeated viewing that you notice the TV is on, but it's not actually plugged in. But props aren't always relegated to subtext. Christopher Nolan uses certain objects to actually move his plot forward. But even then, they are still symbols that support the theme because a watch makes perfect sense for a film about time travel and a Polaroid makes perfect sense for a film about memory. A great filmmaker will use a prop to tell a story and motivate a character, to send a message of love or a message of hate. A prop can help a character get from point A to point B, or help your characters find what they're looking for. It can even get them out of a tough spot. A prop can be used to provide mystery. or solve a mystery. Or 
create suspense. A prop can create tension by showing us that we are running out of time. It's often done like this. But it can also be done like this. A prop can be used to create fear by showing something without actually showing it. Because the most scary special effect is always the audience's imagination. And as much as a prop can make you scream, it can also make you cry. Or make you laugh. A prop can help your characters make an entrance, or make an exit, and even help them get back home. A prop can be your hero's strength, or it can be their weakness. or it can even be the reason your hero's journey began in the first place. And props make great tools for your actors to express themselves with. An actor can use a prop to show fear, or resolve, or vulnerability, or ingenuity. An actor can use a prop to show isolation or boredom, or simply to give themselves some style. And even something as ubiquitous as a gun, when used uniquely, can be associated with a classic character. And why stop at guns? All sorts of objects make great weapons. In the end, props are just objects, but objects are things everyone can relate to. They are things we can hold ourselves, and when we see characters doing the same, it's a mutual experience that draws us into their experience. Objects in a scene can be just as important as everything else, and it's something the audience won't always be looking for. So use this to your advantage because the greatest trick the prop ever pulled was convincing the world it didn't exist.